February 25th, 2014. Heading back to uh, UCSF for the bone marrow uh, biopsy. Um, that's it for today, and then heading home. So, um, oh, and then we're gonna go up to the to the hospital floor so Laura can take a look around there and see what that looks like, and then we'll be heading home. So we should be back in Fresno by this afternoon sometime. So now we're in the exam room, getting ready for the bone marrow biopsy. Here's all the stuff they're gonna be using during the bone marrow biopsy. And there is my support staff. <laughs> Getting my medication before the bone marrow biopsy. Mm -hmm. Gonna be in La La Land for a little bit. Thank God. Okay, I received the medication, starting to feel the effects. Kinda lightheaded uh, and good. So now they can do the procedure any time they want. Oh, it's a per but a pleasant. No, it's okay, a good. Because cool. <laughs> you look, you're looking a little flushed to me. Yeah. <laughs> he looks. Uh, it's, this isn't this <laughs> isn't anywhere near the intensity of morphine though. Morphine is like for a, for a little bit after morphine, you feel like you're just going to pass out and just lose your cookies. Wow, oh, it's more more nausea. Yes. Yeah doing final preparation before we do the bone marrow getting all the trays ready and everything and I'm excited uh, I think I'm good okay? yeah all right yeah. okay I'm gonna step out mm -hmm. and you're in good hands okay after the procedure I'm gonna have you wait for roughly 30 minutes just to make sure there's no bleeding at the side okay 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 all right and you left it the water both sides are feeling okay. Is the side still a little sore? Yeah, right in there, right, right where your your palpating, right, right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's where it's where it's, it's where sore. it's sore. Yeah, it's not as bad today as it was yesterday. Uh huh. It just seems like the more I sit, mm -hmm. the more it hurts, and then I get up and I can walk, but then then the plantar mm -hmm. surface of my foot starts to bug me because, like mm -hmm. I said, it feels like the sock is all wadded up under there. Right. And it really isn't. I think I am going to avoid this side, like I said. I don't okay, know if there's... Okay, when it's over. Okay. okay. I like having to wake people up when it's Drilling for oil here, okay? Mm -hmm. Precious oil. That's right. Life giving source. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get a gusher. I'm gonna walk out of here with an oil derrick sticking out my back. <laughs> <laughs> that little thing going up and down. <laughs> there. I had an uncle of mine who worked on oil derricks. You know, Kalinga is. What's the a derrick? Is a that a? That's the tower. Okay. Yeah, those things are dangerous. Oh yeah. Yeah. Here, get me one of the red um, ones. There's a guy at uh, St. Agnes in Fresno mm -hmm. who worked in the lab. Um, processing the, the specimens that were being brought in. Mm -hmm. He felt underappreciated, and so he decided he was going to go work in the derricks mm -hmm. at 40. Wow. And that's a, so that's that, a, that's that's a young... That's a very physical... Yeah, that's a, that's a young kid job, you know? Mm -hmm. And he left, and uh, a couple of months later, he came back asking for his job back. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's a little numbing medicine. Okay. Yeah, this thing in, but. That's <sighs> okay. All right. Uh, if you do another one, some ice. <laughs> <laughs> On the rocks. On the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm starting to feel the numbing sensation. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And it does take a little bit of time, so we give it time to work. Okay. All right. The numbing started to kick in. Oh, yeah. Is that better? Just, a, much. just a slight pinch. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice and numb. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, we'll let that soak in as well. Hey, if it hurts, I'll just scream. Okay. Okay, <laughs> just, just to let you know. Feel free. <laughs> it seems like the way you're doing it now mm -hmm. is not as um, try not to move your head, honey. Is not as move much still. of a chance of slippage. Right, and actually with the drill, we have pretty. We actually have better control. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Okay. On the count of three, you're going to hear the machine. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm starting to feel it. And you know, to a guy, the sound of a drill is... Uh, <laughs> Comforting, right? Oh, very comforting, yeah. Okay, so this is the, the, the spot. If we're in the right spot, okay. a lot of pressure. Okay. How are you doing? I'm oh, doing good. Okay. One, two, three. You're in. Yeah, be real still, honey. Don't move your head. Oh, Don't move boy. Your head. Ow. Still. A lot of pressure. Ah. Scotty's got to have a zillion of these needles in. Well, you'll be asleep. <laughs> okay. Oh, he is doing bone marrow, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, got it. Okay. So we need a little more volume. Uh, take all you want. Okay, there for 24 hours. Okay. And then you can take it off tomorrow, either leave it open to air or put a band-aid on it. All right. So it is a left side. Yes. Well... The bone marrow biopsy is done. I'm resting and waiting to see if there's going to be any bleeding. Then we're out of here, having myself a double shot of orange juice right now. So bone marrow biopsy is all done. They released me. We're in the car and we're heading out of San Francisco home. Hope I can stay awake because that medication they gave me is uh, still working on me. So we're almost home. Little update on some changes. Admission into the hospital now has gone from the 4th to the 5th of March. Chemotherapy won't start until the 6th and uh, go through the 11th of March. Get the radiation on the um, 11th and uh, on the 12th I should get the uh, bone marrow transplant and then three days after that I'll get uh, more chemotherapy and then we'll just wait and see what the bone marrow does as far as engraftment is concerned so that's the update talk to you tomorrow